is a fantastic hardware. We didn't have any issues with it at all. Um, it, it carried them up the 103 stories. Uh, we changed batteries out of a precaution, but I don't think we had to. Uh, he did fantastic. He, he climbed uh, under an hour. He beat his goal. Uh, we didn't have any problems at all. I uh, responded to him the whole way up. It was just a great, great day. A lot of people say that losing a leg is like losing a, a loved one or a part of your family. Um, and you go through a grieving process through all of that. And it's a it's a long process to psychologically overcome that and put that behind you and establish a new normal in your life and, and move on. And uh, I mean, today was a, a big event um, and it was exciting and, and a lot of fun. And uh, it was it's just neat to be a part of the research and be a part of our IC. Zach is a great example and the Bionic Leg is a great example of the incredible moment that we're in in science and technology and material science and computing power and understanding of neuroscience. Really the, the, the point of all of this is to bring a little bit of attention to the leg and the research that RIC is doing and really to the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago as a whole and the, the thousands of people that they are helping in rehabilitation and the research that they're doing. I did have a little trouble keeping up with him at the end. I, uh, the sweat was dripping off of me and I was huffing and puffing pretty good. He's in really good shape. This is a multi-million dollar leg. People have joked with me and said, oh, is this the $6 million man? And I say, no, he's, mu he's much more expensive than that. 